This is a farm-raised shrimp. Have you ever wondered how shrimp grow to this size? Did you know that the larvae right after hatching look completely different from the shrimp we're used to seeing? Today, we visited a shrimp farm to uncover the secrets of shrimp. The farm is run by a very muscular and impressive owner, and it covers a huge area, about 23 hectares. Here are the shrimp being farmed. They're a species called white-leg shrimp, or Litopineus vaname. They're often confused with kuruma prawns, but they're actually different species, with differences in the length of the rostrum, or the forehead spike, and the color of the tail fan. The farm is divided into two main areas. The outdoor area is where the shrimp grow to full size. The greenhouse-like buildings are called the nursery facilities, used to raise small shrimp before moving them outdoors. Inside the nursery facilities, you'll find large tanks, each raising over 1.5 million shrimp larvae. When we received a few shrimp larvae from the owner to examine, they were tiny, but already looked like shrimp. Under a microscope, you could clearly see the rostrum, tiny claws on the front legs, and the fan-shaped tail. Their shape is almost identical to that of adult shrimp. When you line them up by size, you can see that their body structure stays the same, only their size changes. But surprisingly, newly hatched shrimp look nothing like the adults. Just after hatching, they have only one eye and three pairs of appendages on their body. This stage is called the Nopolis larva. From here, the shrimp molt about six times before entering the next stage, known as the Zoea larva. At this point, their eyes protrude and their bodies grow larger, but their tails are still underdeveloped. So they look very different from adult shrimp. After a few more molts, they reach the mysis larva stage and finally take on the shape of the late stage larvae like the ones we saw at the shrimp farm. Shrimp farming is similar to agriculture. In spring, farmers purchase shrimp larvae, then raise them in the nursery tanks for 30 to 40 days. After that, they're moved outdoors and raised for another four months or so before being harvested and sold in autumn. This farming method matches the water temperature that white leg shrimp need to grow. In regions with four distinct seasons, the period when water temperature exceeds 20 degrees Celsius lasts for only about four months. So shrimp are grown outdoors during that time and then shipped. While touring the farm, we noticed something interesting. A plastic sheet was stretched around the perimeter of the shrimp pond. This is to keep crabs from getting in. At night or during rain, crabs sometimes sneak into the nutrient-rich ponds from outside. When outside creatures enter the ponds, they can spread disease and reduce the shrimp population. That's why the plastic barrier is there, to keep the crabs out. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Because shrimp are farmed outdoors, they're quite vulnerable to changes in the environment. Shrimp farming only happens once a year, and the skill is large. So if all the shrimp die, the loss is massive. To protect against this, there are now various types of insurance for shrimp farming, aimed at stabilizing operations and supporting the sustainable growth of the aquaculture industry. Some of these insurance policies cover not only natural disasters like typhoons and heavy rain, but also damages caused by rising water temperatures. The farm owner we met during our visit is working hard every day to turn his shrimp into a high-end brand and increase the value of domestically farmed shrimp. Just like wild-caught shrimp, he hopes farmed shrimp will be loved by many people too. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This has been Fishy Science, where we uncover nature's wonders through science.